my father told me when I was growing up. He said today don't go and play football. That's okay. As soon as I say okay, he went to work. He was a military man. He went to work. And I monitored that he I monitored him very well. As soon as I discovered that he has left, he has disappeared with his military uniform. You know what I did? The devil now says, stand up. You know in those days, small, small children, we don't wear boots to play football, isn't it? And we're going to play football in, the open, in an open field. We don't have referee. There's no referee. When we went, we were playing and they were helping me. Ha! John, you can play. Can play. Then suddenly something happened to our goalkeeper. The goalkeeper does not know. They will just, they will just be scoring us. I said, okay, let me just go to the goalkeeper. Eh, uh, uh, be a goalkeeper. My father was going to work. He told me, don't go to anywhere. And I went to go and play. To go and stand to cash ball. Goalkeeper. The man of color. And then he went there to go and crash ball. I was not doing like that. Everywhere was stone. My father has told me, don't go to where. Guide your leg. As I they just play football. I was trying to show. The guy just played and he directed the ball to one the corner of the pool. All this really good. You know what happened? As I move, the first thing was I carry my head. Listen to this. Old. I carry my head. Eh? I try to see that I want to use my head with the ball. You know what I use my head for? stick it. The next thing was cow. My head tore into two. See blood. You know the first thing that came to my mouth? I was not feeling the pain though. Oh, my father told me not to go out. So they rushed, quickly rushed. And my younger brother was crying. He said, and my younger sister, because they followed me, he said, Hey, Baba, we, we're not calling our father, Daddy. We're calling our father, Baba. Baba, Baba will kill you. Baba will kill you today. Baba will kill you today. Baba will kill you. They were not even pitying me that I asked wound. Baba will kill me on top of the wound. Guide your leg. Do you understand something? It didn't end there. When the blood stopped, I didn't go. I just used water and cover my face. I just tied something. And I was still trying to be a boy of disobedience. In your disobedience that shows as if you are an obedient man. It's witchcraft. You know what happened? As they were playing the ball again, I stood there and they played another ball. Instead of me to carry my leg and play the ball very well. There is a stone in front of the goalpost. Go post. That's how I carry my leg instead of playing ball. Now go I, I went and hit the stone again with that leg. My leg tear. How many wounds? What took them? Some of you have different injuries as you are looking at me. You just cover up because of your disobedience. Different injuries. Leg and head, you know. So I couldn't hide anything. As I returned back to the house, we don't need to tell my father. My younger ones did not need to tell my parents, my daddy and mommy, that this was my father. As soon as he entered, you know what happened to my younger ones? They ran and hid somewhere and they were watching. As soon as my the military soldier man entered, the response, the whole environment changed. What happened? He said, hey! But I told you. You see the language there? Do you know one thing? 
the Holy Spirit said I've been talking to you. But you are too smart. That's why this world is coming. Do what? Keep your food. Don't go. If they are calling you, tell them I'm not going. It's not a sin. This is what is happening in this end. 